Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will repair this laptop motherboard. Let's begin. First of all let me tell you about the problem of this motherboard. This motherboard doesn't power on. Now let's start. We'll put the original charger 19 volts. Now first of all let's check the voltage on this connector. There is 19 volts. So here we have a power voltage. Now let's go further. So I will take the ground from here and let me check. Yes, the ground is good. Now let's go further. Here we have a fuse. I will put a close picture. Input of the fuse and output of the fuse. Fuse is good. Here we have a P-channel MOSFET on plus uh, rail. The source is connected to the plus. We have 19 volts. The output, the drain, we have 0 0.7 volts. That's not good. Now let's check the gate. And the gate is 0. Uh, 8 volts that means the gate is on low if this is a p-channel mosfet and the gate is on low the drain should be on uh, plus 19 volts so i can bet this first mosfet is a uh, fault but to be sure i have uh, another one laptop like this and I will check this. This is a second laptop and it's working good. Now let's check the voltage on the power rail. It's good. The fuse input good. Fuse output good. Now the source of uh, first MOSFET is good. Now the output, the drain of the MOSFET, it's 19 volts. It's good. Now let's check the gate of this first MOSFET. The gate of this MOSFET, it's 25 volts. So I believe this is not a P-channel MOSFET. I think it's N-channel MOSFET. So I will search this MOSFET on the internet and I will be back. Let's see how we know by now. So we have uh, this uh, N-channel MOSFET and they are not getting the right input signal. These two NMOS uh, channel MOSFETs, they have the same input here gate for one and this is gate they have uh, gates put together and i studied the data sheet of this ic that's the charge controller that's the bq and this uh, input gate signal comes here to this resistor and from this resistor goes to this pin of the charge controller so there are two options option option number one this charge controller is broken and option number two this charge controller is good but uh, this is receiving serial data inputs from uh, main IC here, from Super IO chip. And there is only one way to find out. Best solution is to replace uh, this IC with other and see if the problem is solved or not. I have another laptop in good condition and I will take uh, this IC 
and I will replace with other one and let's see what happens. So I've took down this IC, this uh, charger. Now I will replace with other one and let's see what happens. So I've replaced this uh, charge controller and now I will check the pins for the short circuits. So there are not short short circuits but I have to check something there is a shunt resistor between two pins now let's see if we solved the problem let's connect the power supply now let's check the input voltage input voltage is good now let's check the voltage here and we have 19 volts. Now let's check the voltage to the gate of the first MOSFET. Now the gate of the first MOSFET, 25 volts. It seems this uh, was the problem. Now let's put the display back, display connector back. Let's put the battery back. Let's put the CMOS battery back. Now let's put the charger. Now let's check the LEDs. The LEDs are good. Now let's turn on. It seems the battery is charging. Let's power on. Will not power on because the power button it's on this uh, i have to put this back to enable the power button first good sign is it's charging and now let's turn the power on it seems it's working now i solved the problem now, now let's make the conclusions. When you want to repair a laptop with no power problem, first thing, you have to check the voltage here on this uh, connector. After that, you have to check the fuse here. After the fuse, you have these two MOSFETs. They are for protection, over current protection. When uh, this shunt resistor will detect over current, then we'll uh, turn off these MOSFETs. And in the most of the cases, no power problem, it's solved with uh, replace these two MOSFETs or this uh, charger. Now I will put everything back. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please give a big like. Thanks for watching. Bye.